Hey guys, this crypto Marie, she does it a little bit of everything. I am going to give you some information about the world richest man right now. Remember, Elon Musk is no longer the world richest man. Although I saw a clip on TikTok where he was laughing, stated he took some of the money, invested it in something else, and people thinking he's no longer that rich or not world number one man at the end of the day to me it doesn't matter as long as you have enough money for your family to live comfortably you have enough money to take care of yourself to do whatever hell you want to who gives a you know what if you are number one number two number five i don't care and for some reason all these guys that had billions and millions in 2022 for some reason they wealth declined so low it's just like when you say you have billions is it in assets? Is it in physical assets or just in paper, man? How can the world top number five lost so much money, so much billions in a bad economy? Like, what was your wealth standing on? On mud or cement? If you form those countries in the Caribbean, trust me, when you build your house in cement, it is firm. It is secure. Any weather pass by, you will be standing. But if it's mud, it's not strong enough. And I felt like some of these people that I stated they were billionaires, it was just in paper. Because if it was in real, in real physical assets, it can't be disappeared so fast. I'm talking about Sam Bankman Fried. Kanye West lost $1.5 billion in one day. Sam Bankman, 16 to 32 billion in hours, days. Uh, who else? Uh, this Indian, Adami, lost 52 to 100 billion in, in months. Elon Musk, Amazon, all those guys lost so much money. And I'm like, when you say you're rich, what is it in? Is it in paper or regular assets? No more physical assets. I'm not going to go around and say I'm worth $10 billion if I don't have any kind of assets to back it up. It's just ridiculous. I think people have to be very careful when you go out there and say, I'm rich, I'm this, I'm that. If anything goes wrong, it wiped it out. So it wasn't real. Give me a break. Anyhow, let's go back to uh, who is Bernard Arnault. He is, um, he's worth, net worth, family, career, and LVMH CEO. Why am I interested on this guy? Not, not only he's now number one richest person in the world, but when Shakira sung the song that was Twango, he was the creator of Twango. And I had to Google what the hell is Twango? What does it look like? It's a four-door little family car. So I find interest in the man. And I said, you know what? Let me see how much money he's worth now and why he ended up being in Shakira. <laughs> Not him, but his creation ended up in Shakira's song with Bissarat. So that's why I, I like to find out stuff. I don't want to be ignorant and things that's around so let's say this is bernard Arnold just became the world's richest person so who is he who is he let me see who is he he's an older man what are you gonna do with all that money and you know what i don't like guys i'm not begging for nobody's money but it's so many good people can do with their wealth when you are the number one or number one to number five or ten richest person in the world have you done anything to help anybody or any country in need? Like, you just have a title, but have you done any good? I know Bill Gates has. I can't say it. I, you know, I know Bill Gates has done a lot of good. He has all kind of charities and stuff. He's doing amazing helping people. And he could have been the richest man, but thank you to his great heart. He's given so much. It brings his um, wealth down. But you know what? He is, is okay because he helps other people in need. Okay, guys, let me go. <laughs> I get too passionate about this mess. I like to help people. Like if I had money myself, I would help. I don't want people to be begging. I could show you the way how to make money when I'm able to do so. But if I see somebody in need, I will help them. Jeez. Okay, so let's go back to the story. Yeah. 
Bernard Arnault, the chairman of French luxury goods giant LVMH, has just become the first European to top Bloomberg's list of the world's richest people. Real. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, guys. You see, when you're reading something and the ad just comes straight in your face, you can't see what you're reading. Relegating Elon Musk to second place. Okay. Why did I have to put this this crazy word there that I can't even pronounce myself? R-E-L-E-G-A-T-I-N-G. Relegating Elon Musk to second place. They could say we place Elon Musk to second place. I don't know why people want to be so fancy. Okay, I'm going to say it again. We place in Elon Musk, making Elon Musk turn to second place. Let's make it easier for ourselves, okay? Now worth $171 billion, a note's worth eclipsed the Tesla CEO $164 billion fortune on Tuesday. According to Bloomberg Billionaire Index, a note had already ousted Moss from the top spot on the Forbes list of real-time billionaires last week. Again, to me, it doesn't matter who's on top, who's on the bottom. As long as the job gets done, if you know what I mean, I do not care. Because at the end of the day, a note Bernard has $171 billion dollar. And if it's true, Elon Musk dropped to second place with $164 billion. It's still a lot of money. So what are we fighting for? First place, second place. Give me a break, y'all. Yeah. Have you done something for somebody? That's my question. Musk's net worth has tumbled by $107 billion this year, according to Bloomberg Billionaire Index, a notes worth, which term from his controlling stake and LVMH has suffered a more modest 7 billion decline. The divergence is partly down to the stock performance of the companies in which the pair on shares. Musk purchase of Twitter hasn't helped either. Still, he is in no imminent danger of falling further down the list. His fortune remains comfortably bigger than that of Indian industrialist Gautam Adani, $125 billion, and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, $116 billion, who ranked third and fourth on Bloomberg's list. Again, this is what I'm talking about. Agani just lost a hundred billion. So what are you talking about? This article must have been written a good um three to six months ago because Adani doesn't have that kind of money anymore. Everything wiped out. And again, if it was on stocks, you have to have it in some kind of physical assets, not stocks. Anything can happen. Any bad news, the stock goes down, you lose it all. Come on, man. Give me a break. Well, Tesla. Shares price has plummeted 54% this year. LVMH stock has held steady, supported by robust sales in the United States and Europe. The luxury market has remained re relatively steady this year, even as surging inflation has led less affluent shoppers to change their spending habits. LVMH has a market value of... 362.4 billion which is equal 386 billion dollar in US money okay keeping a low profile born in Roubaix in the north of France in 1949 Arnaud graduated from the prestigious prestigious l'école <laughs> prestigious école Polytechnic and Engineering School in Paris. He began his career in the family owned construction company Ferret Savinel, becoming chairman in 1978 after successive promotions. Six years later, he got when 
that the French government was looking for a new investor to take over Boussac Saint Fouet, the bankrupt textile group on a key asset, Christian Dior. He, Christian Dior, a celebrated French fashion house. A now but control of the group, returning it to was that profitability in embarking on a strategy to develop the world's leading luxury goods company. In the process, he reinvigorate Christian Dior as the cornerstone of the new organization, according to a biography on the LV. M H website. A note but a controlling stake in LVMH in 1989, two years after the group was formed by the merger of Louis Bouton and Moret Hennessy, he has been chairman and CEO of the company ever since. Although his own name may not be immediately recognizable to many, the brands that Anor has been instrumental in growing from Christian Dior to Dom Perignon have become household names. Over the past three decades, Anod has turned LVMH into luxury goods powerhouse with 75 labels selling wine, spirits, fashions, leather goods, and uh, perfumes, cosmetic watches, jewelry, luxury travel, and hotel stays. He opened China's first Louis Vuitton store in Beijing in 1992. The guy had a brain and he used it. <laughs> In January 2021, the group completed its $15.8 billion takeover of iconic U.S. jewelry at Tiffany & Co., the luxury industry's biggest ever acquisition, announced philanthropic, philanthropic endeavors are pursued mainly through LVMH, which focuses its patronage on arts and culture. In 2019, the group donated $212 million to help rebuild Notre Dame after a massive fire ripped through the Paris Cathedral. Arnold has long held the title Europe's richest person, but the 73-year-old keep, keeps as much lower profile than Moss and isn't personally active on any major social media platforms. I mean, the guy is 73. Are you serious? He's 73. Yeah. I mean, in October, he told the LVMH on Radio Classic that he sold his private jet because he had been Twitter shamed over his frequent use of the plane. <laughs> Arnold is married and has five children all whom currently work at LVMH or one of its brands, according to Bloomberg. Amazing. This is great. Five kids, they can use that billions, $171 billion. Grandkids, kids, kids, kids. That means their family will never have to work ever, ever again. Again, guys, the guy that put Elon Musk to the second place, is a French 70, is it 73 or 71? Hold on, guys, let me go back to the story. I believe he's 73 years old, yes. If my mind don't drive me nuts. Yes, I believe he's 73. Oh, this is man. He's 73 or what? Hold on, guys. I want to bring the story straight to you guys. How old is this man? I just read it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think it's 73. Come on, Bernard. How old are you, Bernard? You are 73. <laughs> this is crazy, yeah. This is crazy. I just read it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 
Yes, he's 73. Okay, we're gonna close this here guys we're gonna close this thing here and i'm gonna go to a different story again leave your comments it's okay if you insult me <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all i'm used to the nicely nasty people so let's keep it moving bernard is 73 years old okay yeah thank you don't forget to subscribe